Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, the Boat the Bear again, and we are back with another build request. Yes, we are back with another build request. It's not going to be a Dracula video. I know, I know. I cannot wait in those PTB timers any longer. The queues are bad enough in the regular uh, matches. I cannot do 30 minute queues in the PTB. So we got our fun little video with Dracula. That's all I needed. Um, but before we get into it, make sure to slap a like on the video, sub if you want to. It helps me and it helps me understand what you guys want to see more of. And my goal is 1K by the end of the year. And we are actually getting close to it already. So I appreciate all of you guys. But without further ado, let's get into what the build is. We have Surge putting a survivor into the dying state with a basic attack causes all generators within a 32 meter radius to explode instantly and begin regressing. Generators affected by Surge immediately lose 8% of their progress. Not something I would typically run on uh, Xenomorph because you should be getting a lot of M2s. But if you are comfortable with being out of your power, well, Surge is fine. Because you are an M1 killer at that point. And then we have Deadlock. After a generator is repaired, the entity blocks the generator with the, with the most progress for 25 seconds. You see its white aura during this time. This perk recently got nerfed. And... It's one of those unhealthy perks for the game, I think. I don't think you should necessarily be rewarded for survivors doing their objective well. I understand there's a lot of perks that do that, like endgame perks that uh, reward you, but a lot of the endgame perks reward you for uh, actually doing well. So, like, No Way Out rewards you for hooking survivors. The only one that doesn't are is, like, de like um, No Ed. No Ed doesn't reward you, really, for uh, doing your objective. It's actually just like Deadlock. But it is what it is. Use it if you want. I'm not saying don't use it. It is a very, it's a good perk unless you face survivors that are really good. Um, pain resident, resonance. At the start of the trial, four random hooks are changed into scorch hooks. You see their auras in white. You start the trial with four tokens, one for each survivor. If a generator is available when, when that token is hooked on a scorch hook, lose one token. The generator with the most progress explodes, instantly losing 20% progress and will start to progress. Once you have no tokens, Pain Resonance deactivates for the rest of the trial. Obviously, a really good gen regression perk. It's probably one of the best ones. And then we have Dead Man Switch. When you hook a survivor, Dead Man Switch activates for the next 30 seconds. While activated, any survivor that stops repairing a generator before it is fully repaired causes the entity to block the generator until Dead Man Switch effect ends. Affected generators are highlighted by white aura. That leads us into our add-ons, which we have Emergency Helmet, increases resistance to staggering from turrets by 35%. One is Xenomorph's best, in my opinion, if not the best. Uh, and then Obomorph, the cooldown of Crawler Mode is 25% faster while outside of tunnels. Partners really well with Surge, so if, we're out, if, if we get knocked out of Crawler Mode, we can still stay out and do some damage to generators. So I see what they're going for. Uh, hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you in the match. Alright, so we got Xenomorph on Eerie of Crow. Let's go. And we have a pretty a pretty strong build. We got a lot of we got two regression and two slowdown. So let's see if we can make this work pretty easily here. Uh, we got footsteps. What's up, who is it? Oh, it's David. Was that a little bit of quick and quiet right there? A little bit of quick and quiet. He got pretty far too, I think. Oh, what's up, buddy? Look at that. Your mind games don't work on me. I am no fool. You can't win here. We'll fake this. Nice. He kept the hold of the checkpoint. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Is my guy mad that he got, he got caught twice? Trying the same move? <laughs> All right, so we got Dead Man Switch on that far gen. Um, we got a Sable here. Oh, we actually get that hit. I was kind of I was kind of thinking that we weren't gonna get that, but here we are. All right, and he did struggle. Man, survivors just give up no matter what, dude. Uh. Shouldn't know. Self destruct. I mean, not self destruct. Um, the um, emergency helmet gave us that. I don't think you make that if you go. Well, never mind. Yeah, you do. Yep. That is. Unfortunately, game over for David. That's rough, man. That's rough, dude. 
Why can't people just play the matches? It's like, yeah, you got caught once on Eerie of Crow. One of the best maps for survivors. You're telling me you can't recover from that? I'm not quite sure if this person actually went over here or not. Uh, I don't think they actually did. Oh, somebody did something in the basement. Oh, that's probably why they have... That's probably why they used Gnome either. It's because they have that uh, invitation the basement. What is it? We we even spiders or something? It's alright. They're over here. Gained a lot of distance from that. Alright, so it's not Rebecca. Which is the person that did the basement stuff, so... Oh, we were at basement when we were at Shack, so that's kind of nuts. Jesus, dude. How did you gain so much distance on me from that? That's kind of weird. Did you not fast vault the first one, and did you fast vault the second one? I don't even know where you went. You are wasting a ton of my time, though. That main structure is wild, dude. Yeah, I'm not sure how she did that. All right, we got blood pools, blood pools. Who do we got? Oh gosh, Sable made it so far, dude. Yeah, we got. We're gonna break this. Ooh, get, get, a, get a little bit of surge value there. <clears throat> All right, I just kind of, I want to get a hit on this phone. And maybe the down. They actually finished two gens, so I'm kind of impressed. I can hear it now. The bolt slugging with someone that left the game early. Hell yeah, dude. It's clear these guys ain't ain't taking it easy. Oh. Damn. So is that sprint burst? Did you just have everything? Did you just have everything? Why did you teabag her? That was weird. Now I'm gonna slap you on hook. Hmm. Thanks for letting me know where she was, though. I guess. No, did Rebecca save her, or...? Up on the hook she goes. Hi. You know what? I should. I probably should have waited 15 seconds so that Rebecca could have got the uh, safe on hook. I don't know if it was 15 seconds or not. Uh, we're gonna take a look around. I would love to uh, like let Rebecca get the unhook and me take Rebecca. Because I haven't seen her at all. But something tells me that uh, Sable's gonna let go. Which means that'll be a GG's. So. We'll see here in a second. It's wild that people give up so easily in this game, dude. It's just wild. And, yep, I believe that is a GG's, guys. GG's. Oh, uh, we got Swamp. Oh, my God. And that's probably with... No, I wasn't talking about Xenomorph's ass. Um, it, that's probably one of the worst. Look at these stations right here. 
That's gross. What the hell? That is probably one of the two worst station spawns I've ever seen. That's pretty bad. I don't know if you guys understand that or not, but like that's really bad station spawn. <laughs> that, and then we don't even get one in the ship. I don't think I didn't. I don't think we saw one in the ship. Damn, she's out. She's out maneuvering me all day, dude. She's out maneuvering me all day. I'm just gonna not pay attention to that. Ignore that first chase, guys. Ignore it, alright? It is what it is. It was an accident. It didn't mean... I didn't mean for... Oh my god, I'm just playing awful. I, I, it's a minute in and I haven't... I haven't... I've chased one person. They got away super quick. Oh, this is a bad start. Woe is me. That's alright. We'll make something happen. What's up, Saga? Alright. We get a nice juicy hit there. And then we catch up with her quick because we can just predict their movements. Alright. Oh, she ran into the hitbox. You gotta love that, dude. And they've been doing gens long enough to where I don't feel bad about using a scorch hook. Sometimes when you get quick downs. Whoa, he almost got me, dude. What the hell? Sometimes if they, uh, if you get a quick, whoa, what the hell is he doing over there? If they get quick downs, uh, at the beginning, it kind of makes me think, like, do I want to use, uh, Scorch Hook or not? Alright, alright. Mm. And, oh, he went around the back side, which is alright, that's alright. This Dwight looks like he knows his stuff. So I gotta be careful. Hmm, that's exactly what I was afraid of. Well, I thought I could get the hit there. Yeah, this is probably one of my slowest matches. I need to recover from this, dude. I need to recover from this. I can't call myself a Xenomorph playing like ass. I knew he was going to dodge that, too. He's a good player. He, uh... Not bad. Hmm, no, I gotta leave because I'm just, uh... I'm just angry shooting my tail now. Which is bad. You shouldn't do that. If you notice that you're getting getting like annoyed or something because you're missing a lot of your shots, um, just rotate out to a new survivor, dude. And nothing wrong with that. Just rotate out. Find somebody else. Take your time. We do have a build that is like heavily... Uh, Heavily slow down. So there we go. We predicted his movement on that one. We called that he was gonna make that little turn. So nice. <clears throat> we gotta, we gotta literally wait until he actually makes the animation. So we should get another score hook. <clears throat> Pop him up there. Unfortunately. We didn't get the most progression gen, which sucks, because it popped. I mean, we got it, but, like, uh, they're currently cut. Ooh, hello, Sable. They're cut off from the far gen. Uh, just out of range. Just out of range. I'm playing really bad this match. I'm playing sloppy is what I'm playing. So, maybe we can make that work. We get that hit. She's rotating around outwards. Uh, did she take this? She doesn't. So we we zoned her. She zoned herself, actually. Um, we got to be careful about that Dwight. Now, Dwight is creative with, with the way he uses his flashlight. So I'm going to hold my head down. Nope. 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 All right. And then we throw her up. I don't know if he dead hearted or not. We get a little uh, surge value there. I'm pretty sure he has dead heart though. I mean, not dead heart. Um, decisive strike. With the way he was playing, uh, I don't see. Nice. We get the tail strike there. 
Nice. We should have the down here unless we miss, which, like... Alright. We just gotta be patient with our shots. We gotta make sure they're, like, actually going out the windows. Because, um... My off-window shots are not it right now. So we gotta play... We gotta play... We gotta play around that. We're not gonna make her to... Like, we're not gonna make it to a Scorch. So... Mm -hmm. Okay. We saw Sable here. Hello, Sable. She dropped that pallet. Take this out. No longer have that safety net right there. Hi, Sable. Hello? Is this gonna be a dead hard? You're looking back a lot. That was a dead hard. Ooh, and we get a little surge value. Love to see it. You love to see it. A little surge value here and there. Yeah, you... <laughs> she definitely looked like a dead hard player right there. Just staring behind her, waiting. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, I did see somebody over there. Was that Dwight? It sure was. The gamer himself. Nice, we get the hit there. Oh, and she let herself die. Dang, man, that's twice, dude. Alright, and we get the, uh... We get the, uh, Scorch. Or not the Scorch, Surge, I mean. It's wild, dude. like people just can't play the game anymore man did she where did she go did she double back out here no did she stay over there what the hell is going on here oh i lost her my tracking was pretty bad right there i don't know why they quit because that wasn't exactly uh nice we get down there uh, we're just gonna hook her, I guess. Where'd you go? We'll throw her up and try to maybe try and find uh, Saga, because we haven't hooked Saga yet at all, have we? No. Yeah, if we find Saga, that would have been our first. Uh, would have been our first unhook. I mean, our first hook on her. I heard her. She had live. Okay. I messed up. Dude, she hugged that wall so hard just to avoid the tail strike. Alright, and we should be able to cut her off here. That's a nice 4K though, dude. It's a nice 4K. Probably not going to be uh, two crazy long matches. Everybody's quitting, dude. But that's a GG's, man. That's GG's. We'll take that. We'll take that all day, dude. Take that all day. GG's. All right, guys. So those were the matches. I hope you enjoyed. Obviously, people quit whenever you use uh, strong. Well, I can't even say strong builds. People just quit in general now. Q times kind of suck. They extended 2v8. So killers aren't exactly in a good position right now because the Q times suck in both of those. Though I will say that the Q times did get a little bit better in 1v4, but not much. I think people are returning to it slowly, but we'll see. As always, make sure to put some recommendations on what you want to see down below, and I will take a look, see what I can do. We have a list of them already, so like, if you want to get yours added to the list, go ahead and put it down below. Make sure to slap a like on the video, sub if you want to. It helps me, and it helps me understand what you guys want to see more of. Remember, tell everybody, tell your friends, family, everybody, that my goal by the end of the year is 1K, and we are steadily approaching. It's exciting. I hope you guys are excited. <laughs> All right. Well, make sure to stay safe. Have a wonderful rest of your day, night, whatever time it is for you. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.